Evolution of the mouth. What do I remember? Just about any multicellular creature beyond a certain size has a mouth or more accurately an opening in the body by which food is brought into the body for digestion. As we evolved towards fish mouths became more specialized for grabbing and processing food and evolved to support water flow for gills. With time fish developed an air pocket in the digestive tract to control buoyancy. When fish started traveling into a less oxygenated waters like deltas and fresh water, the pocket evolved into a simple lung sac permitting the fish to take gulps of air into an air sac through their mouth. As we evolved towards amphibians and reptiles the basic arrangement of respiratory slash digestive system in coordination with a jaw and mouth evolved and is common in its fundamental form among all reptile, mammals, and bird. The evolution of specialized teeth, lip, tongue and other organs associated with the mouth have evolved to produce the variety of digestive, respiratory, eating, grazing, vocalization, predatory, defensive, etc. adaptation we see in the current animal kingdom. Our specific evolution came up through the mammal-like reptile, through the early mammals, like the tree shrew and flying lemurs, then the earliest apes, on to early humans and then us. As far as our mouths, my impression is that it most likely evolved its current shape and abilities to support the evolution of vocalization and facial communication, but I have not read anything specific on it so someone else will have to give a more definitive description of evolution of our mouths. I do know that of all the modern apes only humans and Neanderthals have our particular flat face. Although the human face does appear to be smaller than the rest of our ancestors including Neanderthal. Hope this answers your question.